Hello, this is the voice of Dylan Flynn. Hi, this is the voice of Trevor Ickrath. And you're listening to Wordle with Friends, the show where two friends do the Wordle. Tuesday again, no problem. I hope. I've been seeing some, I've seen some boards today, Dylan, and things are looking kind of bleak. I've seen quite a few X's go to people who, by all means, were trying their best. I bet it's going to be a super easy, normal word, like plate. Let's hope. It'll be, it'll be something like that. How are you feeling? Are you feeling any better? I'm still feeling pretty crummy. I went I went to see a doctor today. I got some got some amoxicillin. Got two tickets to see the great clown, Pagliacci. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a, that's a cure-all. Uh, today is Tuesday, September 6, 2022, and Trevor and I are about to attempt to solve wordle number 444. 44, 4, 40, 44, 44. This is your warning to turn back now if you've not yet done today's puzzle, as there will be spoilers ahead. All right, let's get this show on the road. I think I go first today, right? That's right. All right, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play one of these because I feel like it'll tell us quite a bit. Oh, I want to. I want to hear everything I can hear about this word. All right, I only got one green and one yellow for playing the word teach. Okay, maybe yellow e green c. What about that? You could give it a try. Um, I keep getting stuck. Something I'm really stuck on is I wish I had a better response to that great clown Pagliacci joke when you brought it up earlier, because I love a good reference to that, uh -huh. and I just don't feel like I rose to the occasion. Can I try again? Yeah, sure. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can get back to where I don't remember how. I, oh, and now you got two tickets to see the great clown Pagliacci. You know, they say if you get two tickets to go see the great clown Pagliacci, you got to use both of them. Even if you're feeling better after the first one, you got to use both <laughs> because then, like, you know, the antibodies won't build up the way they're supposed to. You got to do a full round. How was that? That was good. All right. I thought that was strong. Should I play a double letter? You should do it. I almost, I almost opened with the double letter, but then I rethought it. All right. I'm going to play it. This is just a weird word. And I mean, people are having a hard time. Right? Yeah, play a weird word. Maybe this is it. Mm, I got one green letter. I played the word deuce. Deuce. Okay. D E U C E. As in what the? Yeah, or revved up like a. To quote my favorite Family Guy character, Bruce Springsteen <laughs> or Manfred Mann. I didn't find either of your letters from Teach. No, you didn't, did you? And you got, what'd you get? One green? One green. Well, I know it wasn't the E, I know it wasn't the C. So that means this word either starts with a D or it has a U right there in the middle. Yeah. Huh. I bet that your green letter was your H. That's what you're thinking? I'm thinking that. And as for your yellow, could be the T, could be the A. Now I'm kind of thinking I might want to play a double letter. Hey, if you're thinking it and I just started thinking it, then maybe we're both right. I don't know what that meant. Sorry. Whatever I just said, I have no yeah. idea what it meant. Yeah. Could be this. I don't know why this would necessarily be such a stumper, but it could be this. Blinded by the Light. What a great song. I, I mean, we've discussed it. The The cover is my least favorite song of all time. Oh, I mean, not me. To, if you want to push a rock song over the top, start playing chopsticks in the middle of it. Right you know? in the middle of it, yeah. I mean, it makes for a hit, you know, to take a, something in the pre-established canon and just jam it into your song. It worked for them. It worked mm. for AHA. You know, they threw in Flight of the Bumblebee. Everybody loved that. Or that I could be in a muggy studio in Alabama in the early 70s to say, Leonard Skinner, this Freebird song is sounding terrific. Love the solo. Have you considered throwing in a little chopsticks, though? Sure, maybe you're in the studio with the Eagles. Guys, this solo is amazing. Mm. Hotel California, I'm really digging the vibe. What if you just started playing a little like... <laughs> you know, that would really fit in there. I think, you know, we'd get a, we'd have a hit on our hands. Yeah, pretty sure Manfred Mann is from Australia. And that is consistent because playing chopsticks in the middle of your song, your rock song, it feels consistent with like a culture that calls their money dollary dues and stuff like that you know sure hey well you were saying that i just played my word and i got five green letters <laughs> fuck you yeah <laughs> stealth maneuvers okay well i'm gonna play youth because that's what i saw okay i think maybe you got a green h and a yellow t when you played teach uh -huh. so i'm gonna try youth and see what that does for me go for it doesn't do very much for me is the answer no nah, not really Sorry. Wow, I've only found one of your letters still from Teach. Yeah. And I guess if I think for a second, I also don't know that it has an A in it. 
I feel like between my first play and your first play, I got the exact right combination of letters that allowed me to get in and out like in an optimal amount of time. Yeah. If I was missing even one of those letters, we would have been here all day. Right. It can't be haunt um, because there's no H in this word. Perhaps it could be gaunt, which I think just means like pale and thin. Oh, yeah. Like a like a gaunt horse. All right, that's good as anything else and isn't ruled out by anything, I don't think. No, you got one green letter when you played teach, right? Yep. Oh, this word starts with a T. I've just figured this out. Excellent deduction. Ta- ta- tout? T-A-U. What is that? The fuck is T-A-U? Oh, I wonder. You'll never get it. You're gonna, you're, you've are gonna. you already lost. Why even bother go on? Ta- ta- you don't have it in you. To get this off, you're never gonna make it. Oh, I see. You're taunting me. Ah, you got it, motherfucker. You you saw what I was doing there. Right, let's try it right now. Five green letters. The word is taunt. Wow. Okay. And if our listeners would like to attempt to taunt us, they can do so via email. Uh, they can reach us at wordlefriends at gmail dot com. They could also find the show on TikTok or Twitter by searching Wordle Friends, and they could find the full length program on YouTube or the podcasting platform of their choice by searching Wordle with Friends. But for now and for always, I've been Dylan Flynn, and for now and forever, I've been Trevor Ickrath. That is, and we'll see you back here tomorrow on the show where friend is a five letter word. This has been a production of The Lighthouse Keepers Company. Culture Illuminated.